Now let's talk about conduction and valence bands. In a valence band, it is the highest range of energies where electrons are present at absolute zero. In a insulator, the valence band will be completely filled and temperature equals zero, whereas in the metal, it will be partially filled. Let's look at some diagrams. Here, we see that the metal, which is sodium, which is a metal, it has the valence band half filled at temperature equals zero, whereas for an insulator, the valence band is completely filled as shown by the shading at temperature equals to zero. How then do we define a conduction band? The conduction band is then defined as the energy band immediately above the valence band. It can be occupied or empty depending on the material. For insulators, the conduction band will always be zero at T equals to zero Kelvin. For a conductor, the conduction band will overlap with the valence band. So here, once again, we see very clearly that the conduction band and the valence band are separated. This separation is called the energy gap or the band gap. So in summary, a shaded re rectangle represents occupied energy state. An unshaded rectangle represents empty energy states. Forbidden bands are where no electrons are emitted. The higher the band, the higher the width, the greater the width of the band. The valence band is the highest range of energy where electrons are normally present at temperature equals to zero Kelvin. And the conduction band is the band above the valence band. Electro it's also called the conduction band because electrons are here to accelerate under the action of an electric field and hence constitute a current. The energy gap of the material is the energy separation between the valence and the conduction band. The energy gap is present in semiconductors and insulators, but not in metals.